epitympanotomy left temporal bone this is a wet bone you have seen the uh, uh, procedures what you have done before this a cortical mastoidectomy has been done and now we are seeing the uh, posterior canal wall which is thinned superiorly along the root of the zygomatic process So you start drilling in the junction between the supramastoid crest and the posterior canal wall anteriorly towards the zygoma thin out the zygomatic air cells and excentrate all the air cells in that region and proceed more medially towards the editus gradually the thin posterior canal wall is thinned and the tegment plate is thinned care is taken not to enter into the tegment plate so that it will enter into the uh, middle cranial fossa be very gentle and slow as possible because the uh, available space for drilling is variable with different bones some bones will have a wider space and the uh, middle uh, fossa will be lying at a higher level whereas in some cases the middle fossa will be lying at a lower level if it is going to lie in a lower level you might puncture the middle cranial fossa your landmarks here still available are the lateral symphysis canal the short fossa of incus the body of incus the editus you are still working posterior to the editus so epitympanotomy is a procedure where you enter the uh, epitympanum through the editus scutum is preserved and you try to visualize the attic space to find out whether any pathology is existing in that place So epitympanum has got a, a lateral epitympanic uh, space and a medial epitympanic space. So the body of incus and the head of the malleus divides the uh, attic space or the epitympanic space into a lateral compartment and a medial compartment. You can see clearly the cog which is a projection of bone from the tegment plate. which divides the medial epitympanic space into an anterior epitympanic and a posterior epitympanic space the anterior most part of the anterior attic space is the supratubal recess which is the seat of polycystoma so now the drilling is very close to the uh, uh, incus be careful not to touch it you will be able to see the suspensory ligaments of the incus and the uh, malleus from the tegment plate now partly you can see the head of the malleus is uh, completely visible and the space anterior to it is the anterior epitympanic space now we can appreciate well the cog the posterior canal wall the short process of incus the lateral symphysis canal bulge you can also remove the disease from the attic with the intact canal wall technique
I'm using still using a smaller size but working posterior to the incus. If the incus is eroded in some cases of uh, cholestatoma, you can directly visualize head of the malleus and you can clip the head of the malleus to the epitempanotomy and visualize the anterior epitempanic space, uh, space and you can clear the disease from the anterior epitempanic space. This is a magnified view to show the short cross of incus, body of incus, suspensor ligament, head of malleus, incudomalular joint, and the anteriopitempanic space. Thanks for watching. We will proceed to the next exercise. Thank you.